Hey everybody, welcome back to the um, Sorcery Souls playthrough, as um, I've just decided that it's kind of worth calling it. Uh, we're now going to head out and grab a few of the bits and bobs that are going to make uh, playing through this game even easier than, uh, than previously imagined. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump back down here. Uh, we are going to pick up that item just there, which is the Grass Crush Shield. Uh, I quite like it, it's, an, it's only 90% defense, but it does increase stamina regeneration, which is incredibly useful. Uh, hopefully we can get around there without being noticed by the crab, no, too late. Uh, after that, we're going to head up this way. I suppose we might as well pick whatever that is up uh, over there. So we've got, we've got the Fallen Knight set, which is quite nice. Now, there's two guys wielding big massive swords over in that building. Uh, but before we go in, we're just going to go and grab this. Like I said, if it's something that's not dangerous and it's on the way, we're going to grab it. So we've got some extra souls, lovely. That crab, looks like he's settled down a bit. So we're just going to try and run through this. Uh, now, I don't know if this is going to work, so hopefully this goes in my favour. Um, I, I imagine a lot of rolling is going to be good. And we're going to try and get down this ladder. Which we have managed, just about. Wow. Oh, he killed himself. Absolutely excellent. I'm going to take this bonfire. I couldn't have gone any better. I don't know why I just did that. Right, so once we're down here, the first thing we are going to do uh, is we're going to head over to the left, and I think it's that item right there under that bridge is another Estus Shard, so that's going to be incredibly useful. Um, this is kind of going to be a bit of a, a suicide run, because uh, we're going to be going past a, a Dark Wraith, which you'll see in a second. It's incredibly, incredibly aggressive. Um, when you die, any items you picked up you keep. Titan that Shard is going to be useful. Uh, as you can see, as we're running through this swamp, our poison meter is building up. Now, we're not really intended on surviving this, so it's not going to matter too much. We have to do survive it, the more the better. Let's just grab all this. Because why not? Uh, we should come to a tower. As you can see, there's the tower right there. Now, we're just going to try and roll past this guy and grab that item right there. That's what we want. Uh, and that is the... Sage's Coal, which, when we get the right items, will allow us to uh, make enchanted, well, enchanted and crystal weapons, which basically makes weapons scale with our intelligence. So, currently we have Raw, which eventually we'll put a magic weapon on, which will help us with damage, or we could just have one that naturally scales with intelligence. Uh, after that, we're going to head back over this way. got most of the things that we could possibly want from over there now anyway. I think it's actually an item over there, surrounded by those slugs, we're going to go those. I don't actually know how far this dark race is going to follow me, so we could end up getting caught by him in a second. Oh, wow. Oh, there's less. So, we're going to have a quick rest over here. Now, this next part is extremely long and dangerous. But uh, hopefully we should be able to make it, as the enemies can't actually directly hurt you, they can only outright kill you. Um, anybody that's seen this game before knows exactly what uh, a Basilisk is and what it's going to be doing to us. Um, and of course, um, the swamp here has got extra deep, um, meaning that we are going to be moving incredibly slowly. Now we do, however, have the advantage of the fact that we've got uh, pretty fast casting. Uh, with our heavy soul arrow should allow us to get through them fairly easily but uh, part of me is thinking maybe we should have bought more blue flasks instead of yellow ones but down here we are going to get our first scroll which will prevent um, our new spell vendor from disappearing well as you can see you got the school meter building up right there. If that gets to full, you are dead. No arguments. That is exactly how that works. But as you can see, we're getting through this quite nicely. And if we do survive this, we are going to have um, a fairly decent amount of souls. So I may even put the ring of sacrifice on. 
Um, I mean, this isn't really an incredibly large amount of souls, but just for this point of the game, this is going to be incredibly useful for us. Um, until we get to this cave, there's not really much else to say, so I'll probably just stay quiet for a little bit now. Just enjoy the show. Sorry guys, just a point to note, do not go down there, that is a dead end, you'll be wasting your time. And I guess I need to uh, replenish that. So this island signifies that we're almost there. This is a nice place to kind of fight these guys on. Damn you and your clouds of death. So I think the cave should be just past where that basilisk is on the right. We can target him from here, that's nice. Cool. Let's have a heal. Let's do some more. Ah! Let's try your here. So now as you can see, one of the inherent difficulties with being a caster, um, we have run out of magic, uh, which now means we only have our rapier to rely on. But in here we have the golden scroll, and the antiquated clothing. Um, okay if you like wearing a dress. Okay then, so from here, uh, and this is probably where we're going to die, so we will put the Ring of Sacrifice on. Uh, hopefully we get this the first time, uh, so they don't have to come down here again um, in this kind of state. Now there's only, you're gonna, we're going to come across a big massive giant crab again. Um, so, oh, I've got those chasing as well, that's lovely. Uh, there's going to be a giant crab, uh, and he is going to have a ton of items. There's only one that we actually want, and that is the Crown of Dusk. Here we come. Let's find it over here. Yeah, as you can see, all sorts of good stuff. So this case this should be over by this tree. There we go, we got it. So now dying doesn't really matter. Got what we want. So, we lost the ring sacrifice, but we've still got some souls. Oh, it actually just fully comes off your inventory, that's cool. Let's get rid of that. And so, this is what we went for. We've got the Crown of Dusk. Now, whilst you're wearing this, um, your spell damage will be increased, but you will take more magic damage. So, unless you're fighting an enemy that is using magic, this is going to be incredibly useful for you. Now, I can't say that it's 
the best looking headgear. I mean, it's kind of okay, I guess. But, um, you know, for the benefit, it's going to be worth sacrificing a little bit of fashion. Um, so, I think that equips us fairly well, uh, especially for early game. Um, so, you know, that gets us a scroll so that we don't lose uh, our vendor. There is another one around here that we could go and get. Um, and I may do like a second video, an extra video where we go and get that scroll. Um, but we will be getting that on this playthrough anyway. Uh, as we clear out the extra area. But that's just essentially just made sure that we don't lose our spell vendor. So we're going to go back to Filing Shrine. Gonna spend some souls on you. So, our endurance is pretty high now. Uh, we don't need to uh, be too fussed on that for a while. So, main two stats from here on out are probably going to be vigor and intelligence, and vigor is fairly low, so we're going to put point in that uh, just so that we don't die as quickly. Um, especially until we get our vigor up so we can wear something a little bit heavier. That'd be great. Uh, and then we can go and talk to our spell vendor to see what we've. We should have some soul items. Should mean to buy ourselves some souls, uh, some spells. Uh, any any that you like, obviously, is going to be great. And oh, this yeah, is where we're getting them that. from. Okay, Spook is obviously going to be really, really nice and useful. Uh, let's give him oh, that one. Now this is going to allow you to get. Uh, a hidden body and spook. Now, while both of those spells are cast, you can basically run past as many enemies as you like, and they most of them won't come anywhere near you. Got pestle mercury, which looks like it works a little bit like poison, but I'm not used it yet, so we'll have a look at that uh, as we go through the game. Uh, let's have a look at what we can get. I will get it right eventually, guys. It's fine. Again. So, I think probably the most important spells to get on there are Great Soul Arrow, Great Heavy Soul Arrow. You don't really want the smaller variants, especially with the FP differences um, that you're going to be casting them. That essentially casts the same speed as that, but does the power of that. That is the slowest one with the most damage. You've also got uh, Fire and Flash Sword and Soul Great Sword. When we get enough intelligence to use those, those are incredibly useful. Uh, magic Weapon is a must have for now, so we're going to grab that. And we're probably going to get a uh, great soul arrow for now, just to replace our soul arrow spells. Although, can we use that one? Yeah, we can use that, we can use that, that's cool. Uh, Fire and Dart's pretty cool, it's like an upgraded version of Soul Dart. Um, I haven't used that spell yet, but essentially it's like a really, really fast but low powered uh, soul arrow. It does about 10 damage a shot, so. Um, you know, using some of these heavy ones is by far better off for you most of the time. But it's quite good for pulling enemies, um, and maybe in PvP if you want to keep people dodging, because nobody ever wants to get hit. Come again. Alright, so we'll get those tuned on, uh, and that is where we're going to wrap this episode up. We are set up, and then we're going to be clearing the game from beginning to end. So we'll probably be going all the way back to where the beginning enemies were, where it's going to be really, really easy. Clear through uh, Lothric Castle, and... Um, Undead Settlement, and then we'll be heading back through uh, Farm Keep and all that area. So, let's get this on. So, we can take everything off for now. So, what we definitely want is that, because it's by far going to be that spell. And we'll have a magic weapon on. And we've still got one spare, and we get some more spells later. So, um, for everybody that wants to go now, uh, I am just going to go and test the damage difference between my rapier with and without magic weapon on. 
see you in a moment.